Hello everyone, Peter Lisiaga here and welcome back to the Living Strong Adventures podcast. Today's reflection is on something we've all wrestled with, missed opportunities. I'm talking about those moments when you look back and think, if I knew then what I know now, I wouldn't have made that choice. Or maybe it's uh, lingering. If I had only seen things more clearly, I'd have done it differently. And trust me, at 63 years old, I've got my fair share of those moments across the board from relationships and parenting to professional decisions and everything in between. Now, as I look forward to 2025, to getting back on the mats physically, though I've never really stepped away mentally, emotionally, or spiritually, I see my journey here as my acceptance of a calling. It's a calling to pass on the knowledge I've gathered over the 63 years that I've lived. From a tough upbringing as a street kid in the Bronx to ballet dancer and performing artists on stages worldwide to becoming a martial arts master teacher and authoring Living Strong books for both kids and adults, each phase brought its own opportunities and yes, plenty of mistakes. But in those mistakes, I find the gold the real life validation of these life lessons that I'll carry with me as I move forward. And let me tell you about this journey. It's not just about the wins and highlights. My physical challenges over the last decade were in hindsight almost a necessary condition for me to truly understand the value of what I bring to the mats. The living strong principles of martial arts are lessons for life and my setbacks, my mistakes and my missed opportunities all feed into these lessons I want to pass on to my students and my community. Yesterday I had my six week post-op appointment with Dr. Reed, my surgeon for my first hip replacement and I'm happy to share that we're setting the date for my second surgery. It's exciting and maybe even a bit daunting, but after going through the first surgery, I feel ready for this next step. Dr. Reed was thrilled with my progress and I have to say the recovery journey has been nothing short of amazing. As I recover, I've made a choice to step away from social platforms, Facebook, Instagram, all that noise. And in this time, while I'm away, I've found clarity. I've gotten deeper into my reading, my researching, and reconnecting with the empowering principles of martial arts. There's something powerful about isolation, a sort of proverbial detachment where you can hone in on what really matters. Now, as I envision myself back on those mats, I've gained a clearer sense of what I want to teach. Those principles and life lessons that have anchored me for decades are coming with me in 2025. I'll be there going deep into the hundred plus principles, ideas and concepts I've touched on in previous episodes. Each one of them comes alive on the mats in a way that theory alone can't quite capture. And here's the kicker. So many of these insights were validated through my mistakes, my regrets, and yes, my missed opportunities. There's power in acknowledging our regrets too. We don't need to bury them under the surface or act like they don't matter. I think there's strength in validating those mistakes because they teach us where we need to grow. When I think back on the decisions I could have made differently, I feel the weight of them. But I also see that each misstep paved the way for something else. It taught me to see through the lens of wisdom and experience, which I'll bring with me in 2025 as I guide my students in living strong. So as I'm preparing to dive into teaching, I'm also preparing to go deeper into my martial arts training, especially Gracie Jiu Jitsu, also known as Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Since I began training it in 2010, 
it's shown me just how foundational it is to living strong. Jiu Jitsu teaches you not just techniques, but resilience, adaptability, and a mindset that faces challenges with grit and determination. I'm convinced that Jiu Jitsu will be the foundational art I teach when I return to the mats because it embodies everything that Living Strong stands for. So let's close today's reflection with this. There will be missed opportunities. There will be mistakes. But those moments are not just there to haunt us. They're there to shape us. They validate the insights, the principles, and the wisdom we build along the way. And as we look back on them, we don't need to be haunted by regret, but rather motivated by what they can teach us moving forward. I'll be diving into each of these 100 plus principles when I'm back on the mats in 2025. Real life insights validated by real life mistakes. That's what this Living Strong adventure is all about. And I can't wait to bring that with me to my students, to my community, to help them grow, to grow stronger, wiser, and more resilient. Until next time, keep living strong.